He said, thank you, sir, very much. And I, I felt that cracking feeling, right? <laughs> now, you're a strong guy, right? Strong hands. What did you do for a living? Okay. That's a roofer. Good. I can see it. Good. I'll bet you're a good one, too. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Sam. You know, when she gets a, a little crowd, she doesn't get a crowd, but when she gets a little crowd, they have buses coming in. So we take pictures of the buses. We give them to the fake news. They never report it, you know? But they have the bus people. And then they only show the first three or four rows. But we don't, like Uncle Sam, I mean, he, I don't pay anybody to come. We don't do any of that stuff. We have the most incredible group of people all over the country. No, I mean, if you were up in Wisconsin, if you were up in Wisconsin, you would have seen something that actually was incredible. But we're winning in Pennsylvania, and the main thing that we have to do is we have to get out the vote. We have to get out the vote, because if we lose this election, we are going to have a problem with this country, the likes of which I think no country has ever faced before. Here in Pennsylvania, you also need to vote for your next senator, and he's a great guy. I've known him for a long time. He's a winner in the military. He's a winner in life. He's got a fantastic wife and family. And I'm telling you, he's a warrior. He was a warrior in the military. He then goes into private practice, and he made a lot of money. He ran one of the big, the biggest firms and did really great, respected so much beyond this, and he just wanted to do something, I would say, for the country and for Pennsylvania, because, you know, Pennsylvania to the country, but he loves this country, and he loves the Commonwealth. And uh, Dave McCormick, just come up for a second, would you, Dave? Come on up. All right, thank you, Mr. President, and uh, hello, Erie. How are you? You know, I just wanted to say, Mr. President, thank you for coming back to the Keystone State. This is the place where we're going to retire Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and send you back to the White House, right here in Pennsylvania, right here, this state, right here in Erie. <laughs> 